everyone. It is Mark Berman from TBMI. It is Tuesday, November 10th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. And I will begin today with the announcement of three series renewals on NBC. The first is Blind Spot, which is now the first new network series of the season to be picked up for a second season. And NBC has given a vote of confidence to Chicago Fire and Chicago PD. Chicago Fire will head into Season 5, Chicago PD will head into Season 4, and the third series in the Chicago franchise, Chicago Med, will be debuting next Tuesday at 9 p.m. into Chicago Fire. That's a lot of Chicago shows. NBC, in addition, has ordered three more episodes of Wednesday night's The Mysteries of Laura. That will take its sophomore season to 16 episodes. So that is news of renewals. American Crime on ABC, this is the network's critically acclaimed anthology series that will return for season two on Wednesday, January 6th at 10 p.m. in place of Nashville, which is taking a break. The lead-in is sitcom Blackish. The second season will take place somewhere in the Midwest. It will focus on two different schools, one a public school, one a private school, and Timothy Hutton and Felicity Huffman are returning. Timothy Hutton will be playing the football coach in one of the schools, and Felicity Huffman will be playing the school headmistress in one of the schools. I guess you could say American Crime is sort of like the American Horror Story of ABC, except they can't get away with everything that American Horror Story gets away with. But again, American Crime comes back in early January, heading over to Lifetime, upcoming Pitch Slapped, It's docu-series, which will focus on two cross-country teams in New Jersey uh, competing in the world of acapella, will open on Tuesday, January 5th at 10 p.m. I have more information for you on that show in today's newsletter, so check it out. Netflix has a new docu-series coming up that is crime-themed. It is called Making a Murderer or Making of a Murderer, and that will be available for streaming on December 18th. Visit today's newsletter for more information on that. E! has announced eight new digital series coming up to uh, obviously get more into the mix in the rising world of digital. One of them is called Royal Hangover, which will be a follow-up to its scripted drama, The Royals, which is heading into season two. E! would love you to think, by the way, that The Royals is a big hit, Well, guess what? I'm here to tell you it really is not. I actually watched the first couple of episodes. I liked it, but I thought it was a little too over the top for me. But there are eight new digital series coming up on E! I have them all listed at our website. I have a description of each of the new shows. So check out the website. You know where? www.tvmediainsights.com Coming up on the air tonight, we have the debut of a new scripted, or actually it's kind of a combination of reality and scripted. It's a sitcom on USA called Donnie starring ad executive Donnie Deutsch, which is kind of strange. It sort of wants to be the next Curb Your Enthusiasm. I have to be honest, I haven't seen it yet. I've only seen clips, so I don't want to say anything until I see it, but it's debuting tonight at 10.30. And then in TV history, let's go back to 1969. On this day, 46 years ago, was the debut of kids classic Sesame Street on PBS. 46 years later, amazing how the time has passed, and as it stands, Sesame Street is currently running in originals on HBO, who would have thought, and it is being repeated on PBS. And that only proves how times have changed, and how the kids' landscape has really become very imperative. Everybody wants to get into the game. And that is our daily video cast from TVMI on this 10th day of November. I thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you back tomorrow. Take care.